Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to do a video. Um, it's something that I actually really enjoy watching. Um, so I'm excited to kind of do this, but I was gonna do a, a what's in my diaper bag video, as you can tell by the title. Um, so I just kind of wanted to go over the diaper bag that I have and then kind of like how I organize things, especially with now having two kiddos. Um, so my son is two and a half years old. My daughter is almost four weeks old. So I'm still on maternity leave, but we have um, gone to doctor's appointments. We have gone to different places um, just because it's inevitable, especially with the toddler. I cannot just sit at home <laughs> all day long, every single day, um, like you're supposed to with having a newborn just because we have to keep our toddler busy as well. And dad does a phenomenal job doing that on his own, um, taking him places as well. But um, we do like to do some family outings, especially on the weekends. Um, so I wanted to share the diaper bag that I have. And um, this is the one that I use. Um, so when my son was an infant um, and he went to daycare, I did have a separate diaper bag for that um, because this is like my nice one. Um, I have the Fawn Design diaper bag um, and this is in black obviously. Um, and I love that it is a backpack um, because it keeps your hands free. Um, and it does actually fit quite a bit. It can get a little bit heavy depending on how much you put in it. Um, because it is um, this big, it can be, it can, it's not like the lightest bag in the world, but it's definitely spacious. I love the look of it. It looks very luxurious for a diaper bag. Um, and I got this with my son Archie and I've just kept it. I used it with him um, and then I just kept it in the dust bag that it came with and then used it, pulled it out again now with baby girl. Um, I did not take this to the hospital with me simply because they provide pretty much all the baby things that you need there. Uh, but I did kind of like semi pack it before I left for the hospital only because I didn't know how I would feel coming home and you have your pediatrician, your newborn pediatrician appointment shortly after being discharged. And so I just wanted to make sure there were some things in here, but now that we've been out and using this for almost a month now, um, it is fully, pretty much fully stocked. So um, it does have two side pockets um, and this is where I'll usually put a bottle if I take one. I am breastfeeding, but I usually try to take a bottle um, and then a, um, a frozen thing of milk and I just allow that to kind of, de I like put it in like a bunch of paper towels and kind of slip it in this pocket so it can kind of defrost um, if we need it just in case um but yeah so or i'll pump right before and then i'll just shove that in there um but yeah and then it has this front pocket and then it does have these two side things that you can use for um, your stroller if you'd like um and then it does have this back pocket that has a button and i just threw in a changing pad in here so this is just a black changing pad um and i just shoved this in here it did not come with this changing pad i had this from a different bag and so i just kind of put it in here um for me to use and then what's really nice is that it also has this side pocket so you can it's like an anti-theft pocket too so you can put whatever you need in there like maybe an ipad you can if you have like um if you're still carrying things for your toddler, then you can throw in like maybe their tablet in there or your phone or whatever you need to do. I, right now in this front pocket, all I have, I have her little pacifier with the pacifier clip and I just leave it in here so that it's ready to go when we leave. Um, and then I'll wash it and stuff. And then I just have chapstick in here for myself um, just so that it's easily accessible. And this is kind of where I'll usually stick my phone and then I usually put my keys on like a side or one of the pockets or sometimes they throw it on the inside. So um, opening this bag up, it does only have one zipper, but the flap opens up 
Um, I have quite a bit of things in here. Um, so I'll just kind of take everything out and then at the end I'll kind of show you the inside of the bag. Uh, when I, I just got this and so I've been carrying it since I got it and it's the, um, I think it's pronounced Coney um, or Connie baby carrier. Um, and this is one I just got. It's actually really nice and I'll do a separate video on it, reviewing it or sharing it. But what I really like about this is that one, it's already like put together so you don't have to create a wrap. Um, but also I got this one, it's their summertime collection and it's like this mesh material. You can see my hand through it. It's super lightweight uh, because we live in Texas. It is super hot and super muggy, um, especially with all the rain we've been getting. And we like to take my son to the splash pad and things like that into the park. And so this is just a super lightweight um, baby carrier that I found and so far so good. I do like it. Um, but I will do a separate video on this um, carrier. Um, but let me know if you have this and if you've tried it. I might go for their um, other fabrics like past summertime, but we'll see how this holds up. So I just got that. Um, also in the bag, what I'll typically carry is like one of our muslin um, swaddle blankets. And this is again, because it's summertime, um, we use the Juna and then I'll kind of strap a, um, a stroller fan to it. Um, and I'll have that on the inside and then I'll just kind of cover her with this just to keep her out of the sun. And because we're having a lot of mosquitoes these days, just because of all the rain, um, this at least helps to keep some of those out. Um, but at least then she's still getting some air circulated because if you're covering them, they may not get like that breeze or whatever. So that kind of helps to keep her cool, but also out of the heat. And then I'll use this also to nurse. If I have to nurse in public, then I can kind of just throw this over myself while I'm nursing her if we're somewhere. Um, and then I have a burp cloth and this is just like a muslin birth cloth, nothing crazy special about that. Um, and then I do have three bags in here. So I got these bags and they're all kind of squished because I just shoved them in there. Um, I got these bags off of Etsy and I'll link the Etsy store below, but I got them personalized. So it has Archie Paul and then Penelope and then I have one that says mom on it. And so these just kind of keep some of our things separate. Um, and so this one for my son, I kind of will throw in sometimes and then sometimes I'll take it out just depending on where we're going. Um, my son has a little backpack. It's, from, it's the mini size backpack from Pottery Barn that he takes with him to daycare every day. And in there he carries his own, um, we're starting, we're potty training. So he'll, we'll throw in a couple of diapers just in case, but all this pull-ups, he carries his own wipes, his own water, his own snacks and if I, if we do take a tablet somewhere for him, um, the only place he really watches that is if we're going somewhere where we need him to be still, um, or to a restaurant to kind of help distract. So, um, so that we can, me and dad can eat. Um, so I will sometimes pack this and sometimes I don't, but in here I just have a couple of pull-ups, a diaper, an extra snack and a pair of socks. Um, nothing too special. And again, like I half the time don't even take this, but I have it just in case. And quite honestly, I think I might just leave this one in the car. Uh, we've just been rotating the cars that we take. So I might just have one in both cars. Uh, but so that one kind of gets rotated. As far as like my mom bag, I just have a few things in here, like an extra claw clip hair tie, um, hand sanitizer. I have a clip bar in case I get hungry. Um, my AirPods and then a portable charger for my phone. And that's all I have in here. Um, I don't really go anywhere for that long right now, especially since my daughter is so little, um, but just a few things in case I need them. And then in her bag, 
I have an extra outfit. It's just a little onesie. And this is from Target. It's, I think, the Cloud Island brand. And this is what my son wore. <laughs> it was one of his outfits um, that we just um, are using for her, like hand-me-downs of like her PJs. So I just threw one of these in here um, along with a few diapers and a small pack of wipes. Um, again, my son carries a full pack of wipes in his bag, um, so that's why I don't really need a ton. And really, she only needs wipes for her diaper changes, so um, that's all I have in here. And then I'll usually carry my wallet in like this back pocket side. Um, and that's pretty much it, but I will show you the inside of the bag. So it does have this back pocket, which is usually, wait. I do have stuff in here. Um, Dambons, I guess, from before I was pregnant. <laughs> um, okay, so I have this back pocket here. Um, that, this is where I typically will put my wallet. And then it does have a zipper pocket. Um, if you'd like to store any essentials in there. Um, it does also have this little key fob thing where you can clip your keys, um, which I should probably utilize more often because sometimes I just throw them in here and then uh, it's trying to find them in the end. Um, and then it has a bunch of these inner pockets. I'm not doing a great job showing this. Um, so it has two right here and then two on the sides as well. So you can hold bottles in there or throw, stay more organized that way, I suppose. Um, but yeah, so that is pretty much what I have inside of my diaper bag. Um, this is not sponsored by any means. Um, I just bought this bag because I liked it. I liked the look of it. And I really just wanted something that looked a bit nicer. Um, especially since it's something that you're carrying with you everywhere. Um, and then I believe like with my son, once he got into, I'm trying to think, once he like started eating solid foods, like a hundred percent of the time, then, um, I kind of went back to my purse and the purse I had, I was able to carry, like if I knew we were only going like to a place and then coming home it was big enough for me to just store like pretty much like this like a few diapers and a small like travel size pack of wipes and then like throw in a couple of like pouches or like a little ziploc baggie of like goldfish that my son loves so much um and then i was able to just get away with that again for very short outings um but now with the newborn it's a lot more things to carry but I am very grateful that my son carries his own bag because that takes a lot of junk out of my bag um otherwise this would be way more in depth of like a bunch of other things but really in his bag it's pretty simple as well it's just again diapers pull-ups wipes snacks mostly um, very into goldfish and Teddy Grahams and applesauce. Um, this is very favorite. Um, and then his little water bottle and then sometimes a tablet. We'll throw in some toys in there. But both of our vehicles, um, my husband's and I's, are filled with toys because my son can't leave things inside the house. So we're not short of anything to keep him occupied in that sense. But um, yeah, I so far, again, this is now I've had it. My son was born in 2020, so going on its third year, and it's held up really great. Um, and again, I really like the size of it because it does hold quite a bit of things, um, but it doesn't feel super, super bulky. Um, and I love that the straps are adjustable and the fact that I can wear it as a backpack so it does keep my hands free. So um, that's nice. And then even if I am baby wearing and I also am carrying this, it's not, doesn't feel like a lot. Um, but again, this is the only like nicer diaper bag that I've had and owned and used. So I can't really speak to any of the other ones. I know some of my friends have like the Itsy Ritzies or the um, Lulu Baby. 
something like that, <laughs> diaper bags, um, which also look really nice too. I just can't speak to those, but I have, so far I'm super happy with this purchase. Um, it was not a cheap diaper bag, um, but I am glad I got it. Um, and when I did order it, the brown color was out of stock. And so I just got the black, but quite honestly, like, I like it. And I like that it you can just like easily wipe it off if you get something on it. It's easy to clean and maintain. Um, so, yeah. So that's what's in my diaper bag. Um, but anyways, just wanted to share that. And if you have any questions, I will try to link some of the things that I have um, in the description box. But um, leave me a comment if you'd like to see any specific content and then please like and subscribe to my channel if you can um, so that you can continue seeing more content and so that I can continue creating more content because it's been a lot of fun for me. But anyways, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!